to my channel and as you can tell by the title of this video I'm going to be doing a tattoo tour today and I'm just going to come right out and say <laughs> I'm nervous and it's because like if you know me I'm not one to be like really confident in showing my tattoos in public um so yeah let's just get right into it First things first, I want to say, um, if you're not a fan of tattoos, you don't have to watch this video. Um, I don't know why you would be watching it if you weren't interested or if you had like some form of negative thoughts, you probably shouldn't be on this video. I'm doing it because a lot of people have truly asked me to do this video. You know, I've had comments on videos that I should do it. People want to know what they mean, why I got them, what they go. So this is me sitting down doing this video in hopes that some people can get to know me better. So, let, where do I start? Almost all of my tattoos have been done by the same person. I've had maybe three or four that were done, but I'm not the same person. I plan to stick with the same person. I prefer to have really like the same style and the same type. The same person can tattoo the same style, but like they sometimes don't turn out the same. So I think I'm gonna go in order, if I can remember by when I got them. Like the first ones are pretty easy to remember when I got, but like then it starts to get messy because there was like a year where I was just getting tattooed a lot. And mainly that year I got almost all the tattoos that I have now and I can also tell you like how much they hurt I don't remember how much they cost and I know I've been watching a lot of these videos to try to see like make sure I do it right a lot of people do say how much they cost but I think that's kind of like irrelevant if you get a good tattoo like you pay for what you get is what I really think so now I'm gonna go into how much they cost. I will give you like pain level and reasons why I got them. I don't think tattoos have to have a meaning to put them on your body. I don't think that, you know, it necessarily like has to have like some great significant meaning for you to put on your body. If it's a piece of art and you like it, I think that you should get it. That's just my personal opinion. So let's move on to the video. I've been getting tattooed for, let's see, I'm 25 and my first tattoo was before I could drive. So probably 10 years now. Um, that is so crazy. Like, wow, I feel old. Okay, so yeah, I guess 10 years I've been getting tattooed and I can remember my first tattoo. My dad took my sister and I to go ahead and get our tattoos. My, both my parents did. And my dad and my mom signed for it and I remember it had to be in a spot that was like, you know, easy to hide, something respectful, obviously. And um, I remember my sister got hers first, like a couple weeks before I did. And I remember she was like, oh, I want this. It's flowers, like it's pretty, I want this. And for me, when I was like first getting tattooed, I was like, oh, like every tattoo has to have a meaning. You know, like I really need to make sure that this means something. I'm the type of person who can see into the future <laughs> for the most part and hopes that I would like it. So 15 year old me is like, oh, let's get my name tattooed on me. No, okay. My biggest advice I can give to somebody who's young and want to get tattooed, wait till you're 20 to start getting tattooed is what I would say. Wait till your 20s. I feel like you have a better perspective of who you are and who you want to be and who you want to be portrayed as. So, I guess we can move on to my first tattoo. It is my first in my middle name. Um, my middle name I'm named after my great grandmother and I thought that that would be a really cool significant thing to put on my body I had never met her um, She had passed away before I was born But my middle name is after her first name and then I got that dove a dove symbolizes like peace and love But really I just thought the dove was cool pain level I remember it hurting and it being agitating, but like I had nothing to compare it to because so I had never been tattooed before and I just remember it went really quick I think the tattoo took like 20 minutes, if that. Um, I think it could have been done better, but it's my first tattoo, so we all have a first tattoo, right? Next, I got my chest piece. Not my chest piece. I don't have a chest piece. Next is this, I guess it's a, like a tattoo on my chest. Um, this one was very impulsive. Did not think this through. Oh, funny story time before that part 
So when we had gotten our tattoo signed for by our parents, my dad had promised us that we made us promise him that we wouldn't get any more tattoos. And here I am, right? <laughs> so this tattoo right here on my chest wasn't really well thought out. Very, 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 very impulsive. This tattoo was very impulsive. <laughs> Um, I think I thought about it for a couple days. I googled a picture of a rose tattoo and I originally wanted it on my back, like right in the middle um, on my back under my neck. And then I remember my sister had gotten a little word tattooed right here and I was like, oh, I like that placement. I'm going to get the rose here. Now I remember, now I can remember when I got that tattoo, everyone was like, oh, it's not finished yet. And I'm like, what? And they're like, it's not finished yet. You need to get color in it. And I was like, no, I don't want color. So I guess I could have been shaded better to look more complete or finished. This is the tattoo I regretted the most for so long. I can remember even in the summertime wearing scarves because I was just so, I personally loved it. I just could tell there was judgment towards me by people um, and I just didn't prefer to deal with that type. Um, I really, really struggled with self image growing up. So having a tattoo so visible in the summertime just really, you know, wasn't thought out in my head for myself. Um, what's next? Moving on. I got two words on my ribs and it says have faith. And I can remember this day like it was yesterday. That one was also very impulsive. I thought about it that day and I was like, yep, I'm going to get that. Um, I was struggling you know, with my self-image, with a lot of things. Um, depression as a young teenager is very, very hard to go through. So I think that that kind of, you know, was like me, like putting it in your body, like have faith, like you're gonna get through this, like there's always tomorrow. I kinda wanted to get that and just like put it in my body so I always remembered it. So my foot, chest, my ribs. Next is two roses right here on my arm. That was pretty impulsive too, if I'm not gonna lie. Um, but I loved this tattoo the moment after I got it and since forever it's been, you know, a really, really um, good tattoo to me. Um, I was going through another hard time growing up and my mom went with me to get this and I told her like how much I really wanted this and I think I was probably say 21 I think I was no I was probably 19 or 20 when I got this and I can just remember and this is the day that I found my forever tattoo artist um, as long as I'm in the area this is the person who will continue to tattoo me and hopefully finish my arm so then I got those two roses pain level I can remember wasn't bad at all like I have snapchats of me like laughing while he's doing it did not hurt at all it was a good time a good experience my mom was there with me so it just like it was a really good experience. This tattoo, um, I ended up not realizing who did the flowers was gonna be my forever tattoo artist. And this one was not necessarily impulsive. Um, I had, you know, four ideas of things that I wanted to get. This was right after my competition and I remember really struggling with food and I needed to find my balance. And I'm like, I love the idea of balance triangles tattooed on your body. Like, you know, you can always look down and it signify like, you know, who you are, who you wanna be, how you wanna have balance and you know, those types of things. I know I wanted a lotus flower, which is at the top here. Um, lotus flowers, if you don't know, correct me if I'm mistaken, but from my research and my knowledge, they grow in muddy water and they're a really beautiful flower, a lotus flower is, but they grow from something that's not so beautiful. So I really, really liked that meaning. And then I also have at the bottom an ohm symbol right here. And that ohm symbol, you know, peace, serenity, it can mean a lot of different things. It's also a yoga pose. And I really, really loved a lot of the meanings behind it. So I had went to a tattoo artist and I said, these are my four, you know, ideas, what I want in a tattoo um, all together. And I want it right here on my forearm. And he had come out with this piece and I absolutely loved it. 
we tattooed it that day pain no pain at all i mean it's so little and the needles that were used were very very thin so no pain at all uh, next is my little i don't even know what to call this it's like a little um paisley pattern with a flower in the middle I had found, you know, some inspiration on Google and I took it to my tattoo artist who did the flowers and I said, I really love the dot work you put in. I want, you know, some paisley, some foliage, like some like really pretty just abstract art with dot work. And I said, this is where I want it. You know, I trust you do your work. So he went back and drew something and came out with this and I really, really, really liked it. So we had put it here. Pain level on that, seriously, like it didn't hurt. Agitating to get a tattoo, but it's not like extremely painful in that area anyway for me. It's kind of like a tougher skin. It hurt getting down here, but this part was added on at a later date. So would be my wrist tattoo. My wrist tattoo is a locket with a flower. Um, this one actually does mean something to me. So I had the intentions of going in and getting a locket with my sister's initials on it. First, middle, and then our last name that we share. And I wanted another rose because in my mind, these two roses up here represented my mom and my dad. And then I'm like, now I need something for my sister. So <laughs> I, was, I went in with the intention of getting her initials on this locket. And... For some reason, I think my tattoo artist kind of like not talked me out of it, but then like reassured me that like I hate the lettering on my side and I always said I would never get letters again. So he's like, are you sure you want letters? Like the locket itself can just, you know, you know, express itself as your sister. Like you don't necessarily need her initials if you don't want letters to, you know, express something that you love. It can just symbolize her. So I thought that that was really beautiful and I'm like, okay, yeah, we're going to symbolize that with the rose so that's why that and at the same time we did the rose we did the added spot um, right here to my little paisley up on top of my wrist to kind of just give it you know a little bit more fullness because it looked real blotchy you know and I kind of don't personally like that I know I will get like the rest of it filled after my wrist I went and got my thigh done. I have a big piece on my thigh and I'll insert a picture right here. Um, I wore pants. I only have one tattoo on my leg, sort of. Um, oh shoot, wait, before my thigh, was it when I got my wrist done, I think? I think it's when I got my wrist done, I got, um, it's when I got my wrist done, I got another ohm symbol behind my ear, and that needs touched up, but I seriously just forget about it. I think it's on that side. I always forget which side it's on, too. I get a lot of compliments on that one, especially from, like, men, at, you know, the like colder men are like, that's a cool tattoo, what does that mean? And I think it's just because it's really the most visible during my daily life, because I wear my hair up for work and things like that, so I think that's probably why I get the most compliments on that one. Okay, so then after that, I got my thigh done and I'll, like I said I'll put a picture right here of it this was second to most painful tattoo experience and on the inside of my thigh is where that hurt so much um, this came from nothing other than my mind I went to my tattoo artist who's been doing all my other tattoos and I said I want a girl who looks really, really pretty, but like kind of has like an edgy, scary look to her. You know, like, like it looks like she had a hard time getting to where she's at now, but she's really beautiful and she's got really pretty hair, but you can also tell she has like a hard time. So he comes out with the drawing and there was no flowers under it yet and she had pupils. But she did have the little skull clip in her hair. And I was like, you know what? I don't want her to have pupils. <laughs> Like, that's so weird, I know. But I was like, you know what? I don't want her to have pupils. I I think it gives her too much personality. And I don't want people to come up to me and be like, oh, is that you tattooed on your leg? Did you ever notice, like, when things don't have pupils, it's hard to, like, put a personality to that? So that's kind of what I wanted. I didn't want it to be someone specific. And I wanted it to look creepy and edgy, but really pretty at the same time. And then I asked him to add flowers at the bottom. 
So that's that tattoo. I got my elbow done. Yeah, I got my elbow done. Um, my elbow did not take as long as my thigh, but I wanna say it hurt worse, okay? Um, you have to bend your elbow and you can just hear the machine just like bogging down on your bone and that hurt. But I knew I wanted my elbow done. I never really liked a sleeve that looked incomplete because you put a circle and then something around your elbow. Seriously, it hurt worse around it than it did right on it. You know, it hurt worse like right here and right here and up here than it did actually directly on my elbow, if that makes sense. And then this hurt down here as well. Um, this we decided, you know, as we did all these flowers, because we have a plan for up here and I'm not, I'm not like, I'm not going to say it on the internet right now, but I do have a plan for up here. It's just, you know, when it's going to get done. My goal is hopefully to get it done before my wedding, so I'd really like this to be finished before I have pictures. Um, yeah, we're getting married in Aruba, so my arm's going to be showing because it's going to be hot. And I would really like it to be finished. I mean, it looks okay, but I would personally really like it to be finished. This one is on my ankle. I can show it. That tattoo, Brandon, my fiance and I, we got together for my 24th birthday, I think it was. He surprised me with a trip to New York City. We stayed in Times Square and a couple days into the trip he had surprised, you know, set aside some money for us to go get tattooed in New York um, together. And that's going to be one of our goals together is, you know, everywhere we go, that's like a significant like travel place for us. We really enjoyed or like saved up like a lot to go. We're going to get something significant together, whether it be small, big, you know, Whatever it is, most of them are gonna be small um, because I plan on, you know, filling my arm by the same artist because it just flows better because they did all the rest of the work. And my leg, I don't know. I really, really wanna get my knee done. There's a part of me that like every day I'm like, oh yeah, like I love all my tattoos. And then there's other days where like I regret every single one of them. And I think that just comes with having a tattooed body. That's just, you know, what you get. For being tattooed there's days where you're gonna regret everything you do in life so yeah i think that's all i have to say about them i just want to thank you if you sat through that whole video and i hope that it kind of like gave you insight to who i am as a person and why i've done certain things and put certain things on my body and i hope i answered all of your questions i yeah i seriously can't believe i did that i'm very shy about them in public so yeah i think that's all i have to say for now i will see you guys in my next video i actually ordered um some skincare stuff so i'm gonna do like an unboxing of it and everything else so make sure you hit subscribe and that like button for more and see you guys next time